Hello guys, my name is Anna and I'm from Ukraine. Even though it may look that I'm from the Arctic or the Antarctic, we have unusually snowy weather. It is not that cold, it is getting warmer and all of it will be melting, but quite an unusual scenery. So I have decided to take you out to the park with me for the classes. Traditionally in my vlog I update you on the situation in Ukraine. I have started vlogging since the start of this awful war with Russia and if you're new to the channel subscribe because the world needs to know more about Ukraine. But first of all let me show you the weather. The 4th of April be like it looks beautiful, but for an ordinary winter day, not the mid-spring season. Actually, it is very difficult to find a place to film because perhaps people decided to enjoy this kind of weather and many children, many dogs, many runners <laughs> are in the park. But anyway, I have decided to talk here about one topic that is actually pleasant. When I was at school, we were introduced that in different cultures, there are different topics acceptable for conversations with people you don't know really well. And for example, for the British, it is going to be weather. So what is the topic we like to discuss in Ukraine? I had to escape to the river less people here so anyway one of these topics that we like talking about it was not like that before but one of our favorite topics right now are dead russians honestly i have always been a good person and i still believe i am a good person but for me this question is really simple what a russian soldier is doing on ukrainian territory so if he is on Ukrainian territory and he does not want to give up, then he is a, a normal target to be killed. Because they have come to a beautiful and independent country to destroy our infrastructure, to kill our people with no particular reason and of course no forgiveness for that. So in general, Russia loves wasting people and honestly they have already killed here with the help of Ukrainian armed forces of course close to 180,000 people that's a lot that is a big city but in general we don't count the injured people and that is a serious problem for Russian society too but they were always good at wasting people and it was never a problem for them also recently, a Russian propagandist, uh, Vladlen Tatarsky, was killed in St. Petersburg and lots of reactions uh, were in Russian social media among their propagandists. Perhaps they feel less safe right now. Honestly, I don't think this was a Ukrainian special operation, though if it was, it's totally okay for me. I don't feel tolerant to people who say bomb Ukrainian infrastructure so more people die in hospitals without care, without electricity and so on. Also, he was the one inspiring Russia to nuke the world and rob everything they have. So, but I honestly think this is a special operation of some inner Russian circles to warn Prihozhin, who is a possible candidate for a president and the leader of the Wagner group. And I had a recent vlog on him, you can check it if you wish. And because that propagandist was actually killed in the restaurant that belonged to Prihozhin. And... Um, a brief intro he is actually ukrainian by origin he comes from donbass region he uh, was a criminal who robbed a bank he spent some time it seems to me in 2011 in prison later he was released then he was arrested even by the NER representatives but later started fighting for the so-called NER republic and in 2019 he moved to moscow and became a successful influencer a vlogger so look what successful people are in russia he had more than half a million subscribers on telegram <laughs> and uh, he was killed on the second of April as a result of an explosion he was given a present and that present exploded 
and I think that people who are propagandists have to be ready that they will be killed either by their own uh, fighting criminal um, gangs or by uh, various international and Ukrainian agents or later they will be persecuted and spend the rest of their life in prison because it seems to me they don't hang people anymore in the hug. Um, but uh, I uh, think that of course there are some serious things happening inside Russia and uh, for example it is believed that uh, Putin and Shoigu are looking for the substitution of the Wagner group because they don't feel confident with Prihozhin who starts talking more and more and becomes an individual uh, and wants to follow some of his political ambitions look at the clouds and uh, at the same time it is actually a good sign for us that uh, Russia is losing and one of the uh, fighters that was responsible for Crimea operation and uh, operational Russia Irkin who does not support uh, present-day military actions of Russia actually the way they are uh, performed in Ukraine says that they are slowly moving in the direction of uh, the failure and I believe so too despite the fact that uh, there are many problems and there are many worries that I have, especially this war fatigue, various elections all over the world. But in general, we have to confess that Russians also had serious plans for this February and March for the anniversary of full-scale invasion and also uh, before we received the support of our Western allies. And during this period, they did not manage to achieve anything, but they are starting digging trenches and various supportive um, infrastructure to protect themselves and Ukrainians from counter-offensive actions. And that is not good because this means it will be very difficult for us uh, to fight, but we have to return back all of our territories. If you're wondering what is that behind me, that is a bench for sunbathing and it's huge. Anyway, it's getting cold and I have many classes today. <laughs> you love my classes more than me, honestly, guys. So anyway, thank you for your support. Thank you for buying me coffees. I will need some more warm drinks today. Uh, thank you for becoming my uh, patrons. And most importantly, thank you for your support of my country, Ukraine. And wish us warms because I need spring. I like spring more than winter. Slava Ukraini!